Today on Crit Sports, we have a head-to-head -head matchup between my brother Mikey and my brother Ryan. They think that they are just playing for some bragging rights and whoever has the best score at the end of this round wins the first matchup. But that's not fun for me. And they dragged me out of the house at 7 o'clock in the morning to film, so I had to make some of my own rules. They have no idea that this series will end up being called Secret Stipulations. Okay, it's currently 3.30 in the morning and I'm in the living room over at Mikey and Ryan's place. I can't sleep because Ryan likes to sleep with the TV on and something screamed and woke me up and scared the hell out of me. But, uh, you know, I have to film them in like four hours. They're going to do a head-to-head -head matchup with golfing. And uh, they think whoever wins the round wins, but that's not fun for me. So uh, whoever wins hole seven is the one that actually wins, and they get to hit the other dude in the nuts because that's funny. Let's meet our contestants. Mikey is my 28 year old brother who has been golfing for the better part of 20 years. He hits the absolute piss out of the ball and is usually pretty good around the green. However, his drives can sometimes be very unpredictable and he likes to wear his shirts inside out. Ryan is my 26 year old brother who has been golfing off and on for about six years. As of recently, he's been going to the driving range every single day to better his game, but much like Mikey and the rest of us, his skills vary depending on the day. Mikey and Ryan are also accompanied by some of our friends Greg and Joe, so if you see some shots of them in this video, just leave a comment telling them that they are pretty. But in the words of Mike Goldberg, HERE WE GO! Good job, Ryan. Yanks. What's going on guys? I'm not playing today. You know, I didn't do a little intro because we got our other buddies, Joe and Greg, playing with us. And, uh, you know, just didn't want to be all weird on the first tee box. So I'm going to do interviews in between each hole. So how you feeling? Man, you know how I'm feeling. I'm still upset about that Hardee's at the bottom. Oh yeah. So it's my fault that they missed their tee time. I told them we had to get Hardee's and we spent about 25 minutes in the Hardee's drive through and they forgot. They didn't forget. Prints. They still fucked up the order. <laughs> All we got was two number ones. That's and literally what I said. Two number ones. What chicken. we get? Yeah. We got a number one and then a chicken biscuit. There it is. Mostly art. Did you get all that? I, I got it all. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the ground? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He time coded. Yeah. Sit down. Good ball. Are you out of bounds? Fuck yeah, you, duck, gotta, you gotta take a stroke, don't you? Yeah. Ah, get down. Get way down. There's the flag over there. Pulled it a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Also went left. Hole two, you can't be collapsing on hole two. It's not a collapse. That was just, you pulled it fucking 50 yards. I've had three swings the whole damn day so You're far. You're collapsing. I don't hear it. How do you hit two balls out of bounds on the same hole? Because I'm real suck. Right, I, I apologize for shit talking about hitting two out of bounds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's as good as the last one. I told you were stuck around the green. I never argued that point. I just wasn't going to hit it and let it roll off the other side. Bitch. That would have been so funny if he missed it. Uh 
only learned how to stay down on the ball, you fucking clown. There's the scores through two. Now you get a real nice, pretty shot right here. That's complete sarcasm. This shot sucks. The green back there behind these trees. Okay. He got over the trees. Where's it at? It's just over the green. Ah. Looked like a little went deep. No, it's about two yards too short. Can't hit off the tee box, but if you put a big ass tree in front of me, I can stick it. Yeah, Ryan somehow put it right there on the back part of this green from about 170 out over those big fucking trees in the rough. And he's got a nice ass. He's gonna go three pars in a row. See if you can get this in for birdie, you get a lead on. I didn't see it. Talking about that collapse earlier? Yeah, that was my collapse hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, quit turning. <laughs> that sucks. At least I didn't do it on two. Alright, we're still tied a bit. Wow. I need a play by play because I can't see shit. Um, I think it's short, but it was cutting. It's doing what I wanted it to. So I've come up with a new stake for you guys. Well, that was a two shot swing right there for me, boy. Yeah, you gained two on them. Uh, going into number six with a two stroke lead. But uh, the new stakes is the winner gets the ball tap the other. I'm down for that. So the stipulations have changed on the winner. What's that? Uh, you'll find out if you win. You'll find out if you win. Or lose. You'll, you'll also find out if you lose. <laughs> Mikey knows what the new stipulations are. I can't tell you. How is that fair? Because if you win, I might change it. What the fuck? I'm right behind this goddamn tree. Yeah. I'm glad I was recording that part. Uh, can I move it over because there's a root right here? Yeah, you can move it a club length. Yeah, that's definitely not the rules. But... Okay, course rule. You can move it a club length for whatever fucking reason. And he uses his driver. Smart move. Listen, that's veteran play right there, Mikey. You don't know anything about that. I don't have to do that. Oh, wow. The shit talk begins. Most of the time, you gotta go look for it. <laughs> uh oh, what's your reply? What's your reply? We're having a live disc battle right here. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. That's something you ain't got a wedge in me. That shit is just falling. This is weird. Can we stop?
All right, Mike, here's your chance to put a dagger in. No words, okay, cool. Dude, are you fucking serious? All right, there is the score through six. I'm one over right now, and Ryan is four over. Oh, three strokes ahead here. Three to play. Why do you park the cart right next to you so I can't get behind you and film? <laughs> Holy shit, that took, that took off. Hey. Listen to me, Ryan. <laughs> the dagger. He bet that wasn't a hole. Did you pick up Ryan's uh, ass wet in that picture there? Yeah. He looks kind of damp back there. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> snail trail. Snail trail. That don't smell bad. It smell like chlorine. Ooh. Chlorine? Yeah. You nasty motherfucker. Look <laughs> here. Smells like chlorine. Go, go. Please go to the right. Cut. He's cut. He's cut. Good ball, Mike. Good ball. Hey. There you that's go. Got right good. through there. Listen, that's the kind, that's the type of clutch shit you need to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, if this isn't destiny to see who the better golfer is, <laughs> they both have landed right next to each other. They are both neck and neck. Oh! oh look hey, at here. I got that on camera too. Hell yeah. Mikey makes this. He secures the dub. Ice in his veins. Ice in his veins. Okay. Hey. I love you. You love me, you just told me the stipulation. <laughs> So uh, you guys just played the front nine. Mikey had the better score. But uh, Mikey thinks that whoever won the round wins. But I made a little video last night. Greg, who won hole number seven? Hole number seven. Ryan got that little fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nut tap Mikey. The fuck you get over here. No, that's no. part of the rules. <laughs> you were so happy to nut tap him. No, hey, come on. Just, just get a little baby one. Here we go. This is what happens. Ready? Yep. I'm going to count down. Ready? You hit me real hard and punch you in the mouth. <laughs> there you go. So I'm going to move first. Ready? I'm going to count down. Three. All the way to one. Ready? Three. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. They're going on to the back nine. I'm not going to film the back nine. I'm running out of battery. And plus, I'm filming the wiffle ball home run derby later today. But that was the greatest idea I've ever had. And let me know if you guys want some more of these surprise videos like this. Uh, my whole family is going to be a part of this channel. This is my brother Ryan right here. You guys have seen my cousin Brock, my cousin Drew, and then my other brother Mikey over there. That just got not absolutely tough. obliterated in the baby maker. But uh, oh, dude, like yeah, let me know what you guys thought. And see you guys in the next video.